How are you beautiful people doing? It is I, the task at hand, and I'm back at it again. And today, I would like to be showing you guys something I like to call catching up with task. Now, in this video, you're going to be seeing what my life has looked like for this past week or week and a half. Now, the first thing my week consisted of is absolutely, absolutely blowing ass at the wrath of the machine rate. Let's take a look at these clips. So, you know, the dope part about those clips is that they were taken from a five-hour recording session of doing the raid for the first time. That's the dope part. And we didn't even complete it. Aww. Now, isn't that something? Isn't that something? But don't even worry about it. I know you're probably laughing, thinking, damn, you motherfuckers suck. But no, it's okay. That following day, we went back to the raid and beat it in like two hours. It was, you know, we just found out how to do it, what we were doing wrong. Nobody was tired, and we ended up blowing through it. So the second part, obviously, you know, beating the raid. That's the second thing that happened during this week of catching up with Task. You know, it's very, we were, we were so happy. It was absolutely insane. Now, after we were super proud of ourselves because we beat Axis for the first time, we quickly find out later that night that there's a weapon called the Outbreak Prime. Now, how you get this weapon is by getting four of the monitors in the entire raid. They're these little secret monitors that you hold X to activate. And there's the fifth and final one at the end of the raid. Once you beat Axis, the boss is like uh, literally it's kind of under the map. And once you activate that last monitor, you get to a chest. Now, in that chest is the little SIVA engine that starts the quest for the Outbreak Prime. We wanted to get this. We didn't get it. So look at this beautiful picture of the Outbreak Prime as we play the sad violin. Then after the various fails of trying to use lfg destiny lfg to get random raid groups to get the outbreak prime the fourth thing that happened during the week was straight it's funny how i make a joke about me working but i actually worked so much and it was insane as soon as i got home i knocked the fuck out that's why i haven't been posting that many videos now check this clip out from trials i was playing this earlier got one kill got two kills with a headshot throwing knife i'm the last alive switch to my shot he slide boom look at that fucking crazy that's like one of the dopest things i've ever done in destiny now the fifth thing that i did this week was reach the lighthouse now, to you guys, it may or may not be a big deal, but to me, it is fucking, like, like just massive and insane. Like, this, this is, the fact that I reached it made me so fucking happy because I have never, ever reached the lighthouse in Destiny. Now, the thing about it, oh, this is a clip from the last match that we played before we actually completed the card. The thing about it for me is um, I wasn't good. Like, I'm going to tell you straight. I Well, right now, I'm definitely a lot better than when I first started playing. Yes, I even teabagged them. That's how happy I was. Check this out. I it was never good at Destiny. Like, Destiny, when it first came out, I was never fucking, like, crazy good at it. It takes me a while to get good at games, but I finally got, you know good not stupid good but just good at the game and me and my friends we just we absolutely steamrolled we lost like what like two games in this entire card no no two rounds in this entire card so makes me very fucking happy literally i was so damn happy that i actually made you know a fucking like i actually went there and basked in the ambience of the light 
Look at that. Uh, the light of the sun. It, it is, it's godly. It's amazing. Just look at it. I'm going to let you listen to the game volume. It's, it's beautiful. Now, I'm not going to literally number every little thing that I did in this, you know, this week, because then the number will reach like 47 or some bullshit like that. Obviously, I've been really grinding strikes, really grinding my Rise of Iron Year 3 book. I've never completed a book before because, again, you know me, I play a stupid amount of COD. I literally do not play anything else but COD. When it comes out, I just grind it. But I'm grinding Destiny. I really like this game. I've always really liked Destiny. I've just been, you know, a COD fanboy. That's that literally that's what I made my channel of. You guys know this by now. But I am going for a hundred percent completion of this Rise of Iron book. I don't care. I'm getting everything. I'm reaching it to a hundred percent. Like I don't give a fuck about anything, man. I love this game. This is the thumbnail. Beautiful. But yeah, that that's what I've been doing. Literally. It's just been grinding strikes, grinding in the book. Uh, finally heading to the, the fucking lighthouse. My light, my max light is 369. I think you will see it at the end of this gameplay or something. Whatever. It's 369. Yeah, 369 light. We're going to go do the raid again. I'm going to get the Outbreak Prime, and it's going to be good. And, yeah, I love Destiny. I love the kind of grindy games. That's all I love. Like, I'm a Pokemon fan. I love playing Pokemon. You know that's a grind. This game is a grind. I love it. Fucking love it. I dismantled that auto rifle because it is doo-doo. Put it into something because it's fucking doo-doo. Don't use it. So that's it. That's the end of the video, yo. I hope you guys enjoyed something a little different. Wanted to put something up instead of not posting. This has been your man with a plan. E-Task game. Remember, peace, love, and positivity. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you really fuck with me. And I am out. Thanks you so much for watching.